Good evening and welcome to the weather bulletin for today, Tuesday, 30th August 2050. The dry conditions continue to persist and looking at the rainfall chart, we can see that no rainfall has been recorded for the past 24 hours. And it has been now two months since we last had significant rains and the Lagog Dam, which is the biggest on the island, is at, is at its lowest capacity at 10%. This situation is expected to continue to persist as we are still under the influence of a ridge from the Mascarene anticyclone. So for tonight, we're expecting the weather to be fine. Temperature 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. Winds south to southeasterlies 15 to 30 kilometers per hour and the sea will be slight. Tomorrow, we're expecting the day to be sunny and hot. T temperatures 32 to 33 degrees Celsius. And it should be noted that this is quite high for this season, as normally the average is about 29 degrees Celsius. The wind southeasterly is 20 to 40 kilometers per hour, the sea slight at times moderate. For the next four days, we're not expecting any major changes in the weather. Again, the sunny conditions will prevail with high temperatures of 33 degrees Celsius. Wind southeasterly is 20 to 40 kilometers per hour, and the sea slight at times moderate. This is a fictitious report. But if we don't take action now to mitigate the effects of climate change, these are the conditions we will be faced with in the next 35 years, or it can be even worse. And according to climate change scenarios, for the dry season, which is June, July, and August, most models are showing that the dry season will be much drier. And the wet season, which is December, January, February, most models are showing that it will be much wetter. The dry season being drier will cause a lot of erosion of, over the area. And the wet season, according to studies, it is showing that the rains will be of short duration and much more intense. And this will cause a lot of flooding and also landslides. Tropical cyclones will be more frequent over the Indian Ocean. And this might have a direct or indirect effect of, over our region. And it is still vivid in our minds, the effects of tropical cyclone filling in January 2013 which gave a lot of flooding and landslides over especially the eastern coast of the main island of Mahe, and it affected more than 1,000 houses. And these climate change scenarios will have effects also, serious consequences on the economy, such as water, agriculture, health, and tourism. Sea level rise is also a concern to us, and the trend shows that the sea level is rising about 0.6 centimeters per year, and if this trend continues, this will have severe impacts on our beaches and also on different infrastructures along the coast, such as roads and houses. Seychelles, as a small island state, are really concerned about climate change and the, this might threaten our existence as a small island nation. Therefore, let us join hands together to combat the effects of climate change. Thank you for your attention. As you have just seen, climate change will increasingly affect our day-to-day -day weather. But we don't have to wait until 2050 to witness its impact. Already today, many parts of the world are experiencing more intense rainfall, floods, storms, heat waves, droughts. We need to minimize these negative impacts, and the best way to do that is to rapidly and significantly reduce our emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. But at the same time, because the planet is already committed to a significant amount of warming, we must also learn to adapt to changing climate conditions. We need to build greater climate resilience, designing our cities and preparing our societies to cope better with extreme weather events. We need to further reduce disaster risk, in particular through improved early warning systems, informing people and the authorities about how to take effective action to protect their families and livelihoods from all major hazards, including cyclones, storm surges, floods, droughts, and temperature extremes. We also have to expand the scope of today's weather services by developing climate services that help people to understand and respond to current and future climate vulnerabilities. The scientific message is clear. The more we reduce greenhouse gas emissions, the less we shall have to do to adapt, and the less costly it will be. Let's work together to ensure a safer and more sustainable future for current and future generations. Thank you.